Hello, everyone. Welcome. Ah, it is the end of ReZero. For now, it's probably going to be the end for a very long time to come. Am I at 60 FPS? I think so. At least 50. I don't know. I can't tell right now. Um, yes, this is the end. Uh, season 2 is coming to a close, and we're going to finish Season 2 with a video by Echidna. Shout out to Echidna, by the way. Uh, guy doesn't need to because he's got 168,000 subscribers. A significantly amount more than I do, but hey, why not? I'm going to probably start watching your channel since I'm going to... A, start watch, start reading the, the, the light novel from beginning, I want you to know, because I love this show so much. Two, um, I'm probably going to read further from season two because I... Guys, if season three doesn't come out within the next year, I cannot wait to read more. Okay, so that's how we're doing it. Also, announcement for those of you who are interested, I will tell you what the next show after ReZero will be when it's over so stick around to the end to figure out what show is going to be or just skip ahead now and you'll find out eventually and also before you see that leave a leave a comment downstairs what you think it's going to be I'm, I'm gonna leave you with a hint the hint is if you go to my animal list the show i'm going to be watching next is within the top 20 of all time so um leave your guesses and then go to the ending and check out which show i'm actually going to start watching next time that will be out after the first round of kagesama next week or this week uh actually no, next week yeah sorry um anyway yeah ReZero's ending i'm sorry uh it's been a good ride but let's get right into it let's end it off with a bang okay let's go <laughs> yeah God, there's so many rabbits. Kill the kill the rabbit. Yeah. It's strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a hive mind. Really? I guess, yeah, you, the, the other reality wasn't really happening. Uh, oh, yes, he's got the... Oh, my God. I feel that. I feel the power flowing through me. Don't over. I'm getting right to it. Into this, but... Oh, Betty. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I love this. Who would have thought it would have ended like this? Oh, fucking ape shit if you die. Follow me! Holy shit. So you're gonna trap them in a like a This is truly a finale worthy episode. <laughs> Send them to space. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Well, that's a way to do it, I guess. What the fuck are you doing? Did you, like, send it off into a merry dimension? What the fuck? Oh. Epic!
Oh my god, I'm a fucking little ball of joy right now. Holy shit. Oh, all the pain was worth it. All the suffering. Oh, 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 oh. And he did. Look, you even you even surprising Roswell with all this. I'm so glad. Like his his is. ベティは素晴らしい一番になったから金色を出たわけじゃないのよ。すべてを出てきたかしら。本当に私と君は言葉を交わしたりない。先生の遅ばにあれた時からずっと。No。先生って。どうつわる。いや、he's is he the same? Oh. Oh, that's what that meant. But. Oh, ちょっとそこにしゃがむかしら。ここに。ははははは。今のは君なりの警察のあるものです。ああ。叱られたがりのお前のことなんか知らない。Yeah, this is this whole episode is just gonna be the the emotional discharged episode for the entire season. I can tell. I bet this is a fucking weight off everyone's shoulders as well. Ah. You went about it the wrong way, Roswell, but you made it in the end, anyway. Finally showed her face. I don't know why they kept hiding it, but I guess it's... I guess it means that they were unable to face the truth in the end, which is their own happiness, in a way. But they were finally able to face it now. Oh, those fuck things. すごい勢いで顔赤くなってるけど大丈夫？大丈夫？全然平気です。それよりそのあのね。Oh Oh god, are we having the talk now? God, she's even red to her ears. Oh my lord. Huh? Wait, when did this happen? Um... Wait, do you think did you think the kiss was <laughs> oh, please let that be it. Please. Oh my god, is she really that innocent? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, she really is that innocent. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, Puck's... I was going to say, Puck's rolling somewhere. Ha! <laughs> I mean, I think his What the fuck is that? Uh-huh. 
あ、そして、虚無へ落ちる。That's Oh. oh my god. What, what was that? Oh, I was gonna say apologize. <laughs> Dude, Amelia literally. Say sorry now. You heard Billy, now say sorry. <laughs> Amelia really is a kid. Oh. Well... That's all Amelia needs. Isn't that good though? Having such a pure heart. Oh my god, we finally outside of the sanctuary. Oh. Bruh. You finally changed your clothes. Uh -oh. Oh my god, new characters. The real deal, not a... Flesh and bone. Okay. But at least you, you can choose for yourself now and not be dictated by the book. That's fine. The fact that I know that you guys have told me that Subaru only gets better as a character as the show goes on as the show goes on makes me so excited for the future. Oh you finally gonna be appointed to it in her night? Look at all these boys and girls. Even Ryuzu is out. Ana Pride. Oh. Oh, that hits. Oh, that hits. You finally got a knight and title. <laughs> Bruh. ははは。ねえ、素晴らしい。私ね、この後私の貴様に聞いてほしい話があるの。聞くだね。俺もエミリアタンに聞きたい話がいっぱいあるんだ。じゃ、約束。Thank <笑> <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, 
Oh, no, not the music. Isn't this symbolic? The first season ended with Subaru and Amelia finally. Oh, I'm, I'm going. Finally getting their happy ending. And here we go again! This is perfect. あれをもっと大きくしたいっ <sighs> Oh. <laughs> Look at him go! Wow, this is really just a <laughs> like a Disney-like happy ending, isn't it? God, this season was, it was very, it was very compact. It went by really fast, but also slowly because we were trapped inside the sanctuary the whole time. And I felt, I felt trapped myself sometimes, dude. I swear to God. Oh boy, this show is so amazing. I am going to have to read the vis uh, light novel. Sorry, I keep saying visual novel. <laughs> is it really over? <laughs> No, that's that's it. That's all of you. Zero. I'm gonna cry. Okay, we have another video to watch, guys. Uh, this is Echidna. Uh, How Re Zero Season Two really ended. I'm I'm crying now, actually. I just want to say that tears are flowing out, and I'm not even. Okay, we're gonna watch uh, Echidna. How Re Zero Season Two really ends. And I am going to put a filter over it, as, the same as the other. Oh, shit that I watched because it probably has content ID and I don't want to get claimed, okay? Sorry. The final chapter of ReZero Season 2 was cut from the anime entirely. Probably really? because it would have been one of the biggest cliffhangers of all time. Aside from that, it was also my personal favorite Damn. moment in the ReZero novel. Ever since I first read this chapter, I looked forward really? to the day I would finally get to see it animated and then it became cut content. But this chapter will always be special to me, so hopefully <laughs> this video can serve to share oh, some that of that sucks. excitement with all of you. I wonder what it is. Oh, so it wasn't even over properly then. It, it felt so conclusive. The last chapter of ReZero Season 2 begins in a dark place with the sound of footsteps echoing through the corridor. Due oh, to the no. melting snow, the mud and gravel were painfully cold underneath her bare feet, but she continued walking until she reached the outside, seeing the sunlight again for the first time in 400 years. Oh, Riza Meyer? The actual one? She expected her reunion with life to be rather moving, yet not a touch of emotion could be found in her eyes. Her lack of amusement was disappointing, yet something that impressed her was how well the reactivation ritual had remained intact. As she adjusts her eyes to the bright sun, she silently applauds herself for the convincing performance she delivered. As expected, her plan was successful. The fact that she's alive again was proof of that. The pink-haired woman appeared uncomfortable in her small body, but knew she would eventually grow accustomed to it. Adapting to things was never an issue for the third Echidna Rebirth? Because she was no longer Ryuzushima, she decides to call herself Omega, which means the end according to Subaru's memories from Earth. What? Omega's only regret was not being able to witness Amelia suffering during her third trial. Although she despised Amelia, Omega also appreciated her cooperation. If Amelia hadn't broken the barrier, Omega's half-elf body wouldn't be able to leave the sanctuary. So, for that, she was oh. grateful, but thinking about Amelia made Omega's chest overflow with emotions, so she ignores them and ventures out through the forest while opening and closing her hands to make sure they're functioning properly. Weird. Reflecting back on the final events of the sanctuary, she notes that Beatrice has parted ways with the Archive, Roswell has lost his guiding light, and Garfield is still completely filled with anger inside. She looked forward to watching over them, from the sun and in the shadows. 400 oh. years, this world had awaited her return. 
and what it offered her now was infinite potential to satisfy so is it, her is inexhaustible Ryuzu, curiosity. Is it Ryuzu, Mayur, Shima, and then not... But she I, picks a oh flower God, and pops it into her mouth, questioning why it would someday wither. Both flowers and memories alike would eventually grow faint, and Omega wondered if perhaps now she'd be able to someday understand. Why must love fade? Once again, the witch was unleashed upon the world. Oh. But is it... Oh, what the fuck? But is it, yeah, is so it that's actually... how season two was supposed to end. Of course, my garbage video doesn't do it justice, so if you'd like to read the chapter yourself, it's right at the end of Light Novel Volume 15 or right at the end of Arc 4 in the web novel. There's multiple I will. reasons I call this my favorite chapter. Firstly, it gave an additional purpose to all the happy moments in this season's conclusion. Now, instead of just being there, they also serve as build-up for a shocking plot twist that completely changes our perspective of what we saw this season. Echidna was always the one in control. Everything that happened was all just part of her plan. It was like Subaru and the rest of the cast were just Echidna's puppets who mistakenly thought really? they had free will. The reason Echidna always looked like she was planning something is because she was. The chapter God! also highlighted her curse. For the first time, we got to witness the affliction Echidna suffers from endlessly. The insatiable desire for unattainable gratification forever plagues Echidna unwavering in both life and death. It's why her second coming lacked any pleasure or joy. Even after being dead for 400 years, almost immediately upon resurrecting, life alone was no longer enough to satisfy oh, her. No yes, matter what, was she always needs more. And that's what makes her such a perfect example of greed personified. Yeah, I know, right? I was just saying that quote from the novel earlier. Because I think it describes Echidna flawlessly. I interpreted love fading as a metaphor for Echidna's fleeting satisfaction. Greed makes it impossible for her to be satisfied, so the reason love fades is because of greed. But the fact that Echidna's asking that question means greed is the one thing she doesn't understand, despite having infinite knowledge. It's very poetic, and this chapter was really the first time the author let us understand a little bit about Echidna. It might have been the shortest, most simplistic chapter of the entire novel, yet I felt it was by far the most impactful. But for anyone who's wondering how Echidna revived herself, it was the result of two things. A reactivation ritual that was established even before her death, and Ryuzushima accidentally taking the trials ten years ago. After Echidna's oh. death, Roswell discovered that her experiments were unsuccessful because she was trying to put her soul into oh, an empty damn vessel. damn you, Shima. However, if the vessel already had another soul inside of it, it was possible to possess their body by eliminating the lesser of the two souls. Thus, during uh -huh. Ryuzu Shima's trial, Echidna planted a small piece of her soul in Shima's body. Ever since then, she'd been slowly taking control of her body until finally she possessed her completely, which essentially killed Ryuzu Shima. Oh, this is why we no. hear Echidna's voice coming from Shima in Season 2, Episode 24. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Shima, Echidna just needed Emilia to break the barrier okay. to make it safe for her to venture beyond the sanctuary. Everything went according to her plan, and she reincarnated as Omega. So far in the novels, oh Omega has been completely absent from the main story, though I do expect to see her again once we're closer to the end. Thankfully, oh, we really? can follow Omega's adventures by reading her series of side stories. They are side stories, so there's not going to be too many big reveals, though I will summarize the first one to at least give you an idea of what's been happening since Season 2. Before she left the sanctuary, Omega recovered her special mana crystal that contains the souls of all the other witches inside of it. From the crystal, the witches can watch everything Omega does and interact with her too, so these side stories have a lot of funny dialogue. Wow! Anyway, she ventures into the forest and beyond the sanctuary, but runs into a life-threatening issue. Snow is cold, and people freeze when they are frozen, so Omega uh -huh. tries to use fire magic to raise her body's temperature before she dies of hypothermia. Remember, oh. Omega used to be a mage as powerful as Roswall, however, she just got a brand new body that came with a brand new gate. Because she hasn't yet had the chance to adapt to it properly, the fire magic went horribly wrong and caught the surrounding forest on fire. Oh god. Now, instead of freezing to death, she's about to burn to death. And if she dies, <laughs> then her master plan would all be for nothing. Plus, yeah, don't, the other don't witches burn. inside the Actually, crystal would die too. I don't know who to share for. Or something. Ryuzu's gate wasn't suitable for using water magic, so instead, Omega uses wind magic to redirect the flames elsewhere. This allows oh. her to survive, but ends up spreading the fire Yeah, even that's more. not gonna be cool for the forest, After dude. After just barely escaping death, Omega felt exhaustion for the first time in 400 years. While she's resting, a group of bandits approach her with weapons. What a group uh -oh. of bandits might have wanted from a defenseless-looking lolly is up to your imagination, mm -mm. but Omega tells them she'll do whatever they say if they're able to remain standing for the next 30 seconds. Omega then reveals her true form, allowing her soul to visualize behind her. 
After seeing the face oh. of the Witch of Greed, one by one, the bandits dropped to the ground, puking their guts out, slitting their own throats, and foaming at the mouths. There were 18 what? bandits in total, and not a single one survived. Omega okay. Omega their bodies, finds Don't some fuck new with clothing Akedna. to wear, and then continues her journey Sorry, Omega. she didn't just murder 18 people and burn down an entire forest within just 10 minutes of being alive again. That was <laughs> oh, the first Omega side story, and I thought it did a great job showing how dangerous witches really are. Akedna uh -huh. quite literally just reincarnated, and already she's caused causing unprecedented amounts of destruction. The following stories aren't quite <laughs> as eventful, but I'd still recommend Bro. reading them because Omega is best girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm also hoping that Omega will get an OVA or something, but maybe I'm just in denial that my favorite chapter is never getting animated. I mean, Let hopefully me it will, think. maybe Make at some sure point. Like or be in the already. director's cut if there's ever going to be one. About ReZero and stay hyped for season three. I hope there will be a season three! I really fucking hope so! We, we gotta see more of the other uh, archbishops. <laughs> okay, so, uh. And that, guys, concludes ReZero. Now, what a fucking show. I'm so happy that we got to watch it. Uh, I, I wonder if the visual novels are. Uh, sorry, the. Again, the light novels, if they're, if they're books, like as in text only, or is there manga with pictures in it? I'm wondering, because if it's books, then I might wait. If it's, if it's manga light, then I might read it. I don't. I don't know. I have an easier time reading pictures with manga, cause cause I'm a dumb soy boy. But yes, um, thank you so much for sticking around for ReZero. I hope one day we get to watch Re uh, season three. And uh, as for the show that I'm doing next, um, if if some of you guessed it, congratulations. It is uh, it is Hunter Hunter. We're starting that. Um, after Kage-sama. And that shit is going to take a long time to get through because, yes, I'm watching the 2011 version. Yes, I'm seriously watching Hunter x Hunter. Uh, so, if you want to see that, if you like it, stick around, because I will do it. Uh, yeah, pretty much to... I don't want to say goodbye because this is the end of ReZero. But, hey, you can always go back and watch my whole reaction again if, you, if, you, if you'd like. If, if you liked it. So, um... Yeah, thanks for sticking around on this journey with me. Really appreciate you guys sticking around. So uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out, ReZero fans.